Okay, so let me go in here and handle my baby's ballot. Get his little stuff taken care of. Um, it's not as crowded as, as I thought it would have been. Um, though I don't know what it's looking like on the inside because the parking lot is rather full. Very, very interesting. All right, family, let me go in here and handle that. I'm seeing folks starting somewhere and everything. All right, let me go uh, vote for my baby. Vote for Barack, but vote my baby's vote. You know what I mean. Bye. Baby, I just voted for you. I'm leaving. All right, family, I am inside of Sam's Club. Check it out. We came to get cupcakes. Okay, I'm just coming out of our super Walmart right here. This is like down the street from my house. This is my Walmart. And I got my baby a birthday card, but when I was at Sam's Club, I didn't show you guys what I got. But I got him two boxes of um, the uh, cupcakes. Um, there's 30 count per box, and there's 36 students in his class. So um, I got those. I got him a big box. I'm making him some cheesy beefy nachos. This is my fish of the day. I still haven't eaten. So... I've been running like a raggedy woman. Um, I got him a card for his birthday that we, we have to have a card to put his little money in it. Um, so I'm gonna go home and allow Anthony and Tioni to sign his card. Um, his dad is coming to pick up everything and take it to the school. Right now it is about 2.20 on this election day Tuesday. And oh, let me also show you guys that I got the two lipsticks that I really, really wanted. Um, those of you guys that get the Essence magazine, um, the one that had Tyler Perry on it, it had a $4 coupon inside of there that gave you $2 off of the CoverGirl uh, lipsticks um, with Queen Latifah on it. And on one end, it's one color, and on the other end, it's another color. So this first one is number 845. And it has like a, um, a gold tone on one end and a natural on another. I know y'all say, bitch, take the shit off. Take the this, this off. But it still got the plastic and stuff on it and the little security strip. So it's not open yet. So that's why I haven't opened them to really show you guys. It got the little strips and stuff on them. But I got the two of those. And um, I got the $4 off. With the coupon on that but i gotta go down to the dollar tree to go and get um tissue paper um so we can get this together i will keep you guys posted let me get out somebody's waiting to park here let me check it out they waiting on my ass to move all right bye look at them they waiting on me to move <laughs> I even got my seatbelt on. I'm out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> There's my Dollar Tree. <sighs> okay. Now, let's get that ass home. I really wanted to check out Dr. Oz, and I am about missed that shit. Hold on. My little thing is sliding back, y'all. Anyway. But I really wanted to see Dr. Oz. Let me show y'all the area. Yeah. So this is down the street from me, Makasa, from my home. And uh, so let's. Uh, get that ass back on my end um senior is supposed to meet me at the house 
at 3 because Isaiah's goodies have to be at the school by 3.15. He doesn't get out of school till 3.30, but um, to take goodies to the school, they have to be packaged in the store boxes. You can't make cupcakes from home and bring them to the school. They have to be already boxed and everything. So that's why I didn't make them. And uh, so it just is what it is, family. Um, yeah, let me get uh, this shit to the house. Let me get my seat belt on and do it moving. All right, I holla. Okay, family, I made it back home, but I wanted to show you guys what my baby got for his birthday while I pack it in, inside of the box. Um, he likes the Saints, so I bought him the Saint official backpack. I bought him the Saints Stadium jacket. Can you guys see that? With the full embroidery. Um, and I guess that's, I guess, according to a man or whatever, or how men do their thing, I guess that's when it's like official, when it's a lot of the embroidery work on it, as opposed to the patches and the stickers. Um, so we got him a, a leather um, um, Saints jacket. So let's put that in here. I know I'm probably making it all not that good. I'm going to try it. Then we got him the New, uh, New Orleans Saints um, shirt. And we got him the New Orleans Saints um, um, hat. And that goes in there. Um, I don't know what I did with his. I don't know what I did with his uh, card, but we're gonna sign his card and throw that in the mix. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys. Um, I hear you guys constantly asking me. Well, not constantly. Let me clarify that. But um, you guys kind of liked my um, outfit that I wore um, for church service the other day. So I wanted to just show you guys that and how I put that together. My daughter's coming in the door. Tioni, when you come in, be kind of quiet, baby. I'm, I'm taping. Quiet, Sebastian. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Come on in. Okay. Um, this is the hat that I bought, and I got it from the Goodwill, and you know I still had the tag in the inside of it. <laughs> so I got it for $3.99 at the Goodwill. So this is my hat um, over the weekend. And now, first, before I get to the blouse, I ended, up take, I ended up taking off the other shoes, and I put these ones on. I got these from Marshalls as well. They're BCBG. Um, um, little and and believe it or not, I mean they look intimidating, but these shoes are comfortable as hell. What is the problem? Okay, these shoes are comfortable as all fucking get out. Okay, yeah, that's my dog's plan, y'all. But yeah, these shoes are comfortable as hell. So I ended up putting these on because the other shoes were uncomfortable. So I took those off. But this is the top that I wore. Um, and it's a Missy medium. Can you see that? Missy medium. And what I did was, it's actually like a little shrug. Uh, Tiani, did you even speak when you walked? In? Well, I did tell you to be quiet to kind of be cool. But um, you still could have said hello or something. Okay, so actually, it's a shrug. You know, that you wear like what you're, you know, whatever you're wearing or whatever. And this is the way it is. But for me, I have to snatch and pull. So what I did was I crisscrossed it like this. I got the two ends like this, pulled it, and I had 10 
to tie it in the back. Okay? So basically, I had him to tie this in the back as tight as he could tie it, you know, and put a knot in it, and this is the way I wore it. Now, now what it did was it made my waist a little thicker than what it actually is because all this material was loose. So um, later on, when I got to church, and I was like, damn, I feel a little bulky, you know. And so I began to roll this up, and I just tucked it up under the belt so it wouldn't be, you know, giving me so much material around my waist and things. So this is the top that I wore. That you guys kind of was digging. I was digging it too. But so I just wanted to show you guys that that this is actually a shrug. And I take jackets. I wear jackets sometimes as blouses. Um, and then I'll find a shirt like at the Goodwill or something. And I'll cut it down the center if there's no buttons. And I'll crisscross it and snatch it. Because if you crisscross and snatch. Uh, any garment, it makes your middle look smaller and it gives you more of an hourglass, like an X, because now you're snatched up in here. So that was a little tip that I learned kind of years ago that for my body shape, I need to snatch things because otherwise it's going to make me look big and boxy. I can't wear really big and boxy clothing because it's going to make me look bigger. Because it's accommodating my hips and everything, but it's not accommodating my waist. So, for me, for my clothes to look somewhat polished, they got to be snatched. That's just the bottom line. Or I'm going to look crazy as hell. So, anyway, family, let me finish wrapping up my baby's gift. Um, Tony should be here any minute to come and pick this up and take all the goodies to the school. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for rolling with your girl all day. I know it's been a busy, busy day. My hope is that you guys all got out and voted. For those of you guys that could vote, um, my hope is that you exercise your right. Now, I understand, like, here in the state of California, if you have a felony or, you know, different types of felonies and things, you can't vote. That should be one reason why a motherfucker do not vote, is the fact that they cannot vote. But there is truly no excuse when you can do absentee ballots and all that kind of stuff. You know, there is no excuse for nobody not to vote. So, anyway... <clears throat> I want to get this wrapped up so I can get back there in my room and lay across my bed because um, I want to watch um, the polls close on the East Coast starting at 4 o'clock um, California time. So, okay, here's Senior coming in right now. So, <clears throat> yeah, let me hurry up and get this done because he's just pulling in the driveway now and I don't want to hold him up because we got to do it, do it, do it right now. So anyway, family, let me get this going. Tiani! Yeah. I need scissors, mama. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Daddy's here. Hey, Sam. Hey. How are you? All right. Okay. Can you go look up, can you go look on my bed and give me some scissors? Look at look at look um right there by my nightstand and give me some scissors, please. Alright, family, we out. Do this. Bye.